Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will discuss week 6 assignment 6 answers of the course introduction to machine learning. Now the first question is entropy for a 9010 split between uh, two classes will be 0.469 and here is the proof if you say that option A is 0.469 will be the answer. Now question number 2 consider a data set with one attribute suppose there are 8 unordered values in this attribute how many possible combinations are needed to find the best split point so the answer will be 127 it will be 2 to the power 8 okay minus 1 minus 1 that means 2 to the power 7 minus 1 will be 127. So please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video because I will uh, give every week assignment in this channel. Now question number 3 the answer will be 7.2, 10 and 8.8. .8. If you see that that 7.2, 10 and 8.8 .8, option B will be the answer. Now question number 4 which of the following is a good strategy for reducing the variance in a decision tree. Okay. So the answer will be stop splitting a leaf when the number of points is less than a set threshold K. If you see here. Option uh, B will be the answer. Stop splitting a leaf when the number of points is less than a set threshold K. I already uploaded some videos in this course. So if you face some difficulties in understanding the NPTEL lecture, then please go to my video. I will give the link in my description. So please go and watch. You will clearly understand the concept. Now question number 5. Which of the following statements about a multi-way splits in a decision tree with categorical features is correct? So the answer will be they can lead to overbeating when dealing with high cardinality categorical features. Now the answer will be option C. Now question number 6. Which of the following statements about imputation in data processing is most accurate? So the answer will be multiple imputation typically produces less biased estimates than single imputation method. So the answer will be option uh, D. Okay. Now question number 7. Consider the following data set. Now this is the data set, the answer will be 189.2, here 189.2 will be the answer, that is option C. Okay, so please subscribe my channel if you get some help from this video. Thank you for watching the video, we'll see you in the next video.